Hello everyone, and welcome to part 2 of the tutorial on how to green screen a champion in League of Legends. I will be using DaVinci Resolve, which is free, and I will have a link in the description below. Once you have installed DaVinci Resolve and have launched it, you should see something similar to this screen. Go ahead and click the new project on the bottom of the window. And you may call it whatever you want to, so I can just call it uh, LOL Green click create and you should see a screen that looks like this if you're new to davinci resolve i'll do my best to go slow and to ensure that you can follow along so the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go all the way down to the bottom center of your screen and you'll see a media little tab if you hover over with your cursor go ahead and click on the media tab and once you go here, you're going to see that in the bottom, no clips in media pool. This is where you're going to put the video that you recorded in part one of the tutorial, and also the picture slash video that you want to add to the green screen. So all you really have to do is just drag and drop in here. So on my other screen, I have my video that I recorded, which is the Cassiopeia. I'm just going to drag it and drop it. If anything pops up like the clips, have a different frame rate than the current product settings, just click change and then you should see that it pops up right here and then you can play it if you want to. But for right now, let's just get both clips in. And now I'm going to just drag and drop in my picture, which is just a screenshot of my YouTube page. So once you get those two done, then go to the bottom center of your screen again and hover over till you get to the edit, which is gonna be the third tab. Now you're going to see that the timeline, which is in this bottom section, is completely empty. But on the top left, you should have Media Pool, Effect Library, Edit Index, Sound Library. Make sure that Media Pool is selected. If it's not selected, it will be like this. Selected, you'll have your two media clips. So once you're here, go ahead and drag your picture or video first and you'll see it kind of just starts snapping down and just put it at the very beginning and then grab your League of Legends clip and you want to throw that on top. So go ahead and just throw that right on top. So you should have your picture on the bottom and your League of Legends clip on top. If you record it with audio, you will see that once you drag in this League of Legends clip, you're going to have this audio thing too. You can honestly just delete that if you want to, unless you want to keep the audio. But for me, I'm going to just delete it by pushing the backspace and that will just delete it. Once you get here, what you're going to want to do is go to the color tab. So it's going to be the fifth one on the center bottom of your screen. Once you go here, you're going to want to just right click on this right portion over here anywhere in the blank space. So just right click and you're going to see add alpha output. So go ahead and click add alpha output. And then you're going to see this little blue square next to this node right here. So go ahead and hold left click on this blue square and you're going to see a dotted gray line and just drag it all the way to this blue circle dot over here. Once you've done that, what you want to do is make sure that you have this selected and not this. So make sure that the node is not your picture, but it's actually the Cassiopeia. Well, in my case, the Cassiopeia, in your case, probably something different. So you have the green screen video up. What you want to do next is just select this qualifier, which is right here, kind of towards the middle of the screen below your video. Make sure it's left click. And then all you want to do is just hold your left mouse button and kind of just drag it around a little bit on the green. What this is doing is it's picking up all the shades of the green. So this should be the same shade of green everywhere, but just in case, it's kind of a nice little rule of thumb to just hold left click and just kind of drag around to make sure if there's any weird shades of green that you're going to get it. So just do it a couple times and then you're good to go. Now what you're going to see is that you're character, in my case Cassiopeia, has completely been washed away, I guess you could say. And you can see through my Cassiopeia picture of 
my YouTube page, which is this picture over here. So what you want to do here now is you just want to go down to right over here where it's going to be invert. Because right now we have the green, but no Cassiopeia. So we want to invert that. We want to get rid of the green, but keep the Cassiopeia. So we're going to just click this invert button right here. And you'll see that, boom, we have the Cassiopeia back and we have my picture. So now what we got to do is you can see that the obvious gigantic green blob here. So we're going to have to get rid of this green blob. So what you want to do now is you're going to see in the selection arrange area, this little qualifier with the plus sign, make sure that's left clicked and you want to hover over your picture and just use your mouse wheel to zoom in. And your goal here is to just left click on one of the pieces of green. Now, if you accidentally click on something different, like if I accidentally click on her sleeve and I zoom out, that's going to make it look really, really weird. And you don't want that. So what you can do is you just hold control and push Z and that will revert it. So if you make a mistake, you can just control Z to get back if you're on a Windows machine. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on a piece of green. So like there, I messed up again. So I'm going to do control Z. Let's try a different piece of green. There we go. So I did control Z and you see that the green outline is completely gone. That gigantic green blob is not there. You can see that it kind of took away a little bit of her shirt to the top here. If you want to, you can go ahead and actually just control Z and you can try another location because sometimes if you try different locations, it will not take away those parts. Okay, well, just like that. So I tried that green spot and her top has not been changed at all. So it's actually, that works out pretty good. Now, if you do zoom in, you will see a little bit of green still. You can try to use the qualifying plus sign tool and hit those things, but it might uh, make it look a little weird. So if I try that, yeah. So that completely just ruined everything. So control Z. So once you're good with this, what I'm going to do now is just go back to my edit page, which is the third tab on the bottom. Click edit because I want to get rid of this white box just to make it look a little bit more appealing. And the first thing I'm going to do is because this is my clip of my Cassiopeia, all I'm going to do is just drag, hover with my cursor and just drag this guy over like this, just to extend this picture out and it'll snap right on. Then what I'm gonna do is just left click on my picture here. So it should have this red outline around it. And then I wanna go to the right. And if your screen looks like this, go ahead and click on the inspector at the top right. And once you have your inspector open, you want to look at the transform tab where you're gonna see zoom and position. So what I wanna do is I want to zoom. I wanna zoom in until it completely gets rid of the white and then what I want to do is just change the position so let's change the X a little bit let's change the Y just bring it up like this maybe you move my X around a little bit more lower a little bit more and then there we go so now if I go ahead and play this so now she is completely cropped we've completely green screened her from our League Legends video clip and she is now on my YouTube channel. This is going to be the end of the tutorial. If you guys have any questions or any requests on a new tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.